Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Hydranencephaly is a type of cephalic disorder. This is a rare condition in which the cerebral hemispheres are absent and replaced by sacs filled with cerebrospinal fluid. This should not be confused with hydrocephalus, which is an accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid in the ventricles. In hemihydranencephaly, only half of the brain is filled with fluid. Usually the cerebellum and brainstem are formed normally, although in some cases the cerebellum may also be absent. An infant with hydranencephaly may appear normal at birth or may have some distortion of the skull and upper facial features due to fluid pressure inside the skull. The infant's head size and spontaneous reflexes such as sucking, swallowing, crying, and moving the arms and legs may all seem normal depending on the severity of the condition. However, after a few weeks the infant usually becomes irritable and has increased muscle tone, hypertonia. After several months of life, seizures and hydrocephalus may develop. Other symptoms may include visual impairment, lack of growth, deafness, blindness, spastic quadriparsis, paralysis, and intellectual deficits. Some infants may have additional abnormalities at birth including seizures, myoclonus, involuntary sudden, rapid jerks, and respiratory problems. Hydranencephaly is an extreme form of parencephaly, which is characterized by a cyst or cavity in the cerebral hemispheres, and may be caused by vascular insult or injuries, infections or traumatic disorders after the 12th week of pregnancy. Diagnosis may be delayed for several months because the infant's early behavior appears to be relatively normal. Transillumination, an examination in which light is passed through body tissues, usually confirms the diagnosis. Preliminary diagnosis may be made in utero via standard ultrasound and can be confirmed with a level II or higher ultrasound. There is no standard treatment for hydranencephaly. Treatment is symptomatic and supportive. Hydrocephalus may be treated with a shunt. The prognosis for children with hydranencephaly is generally quite poor. Death usually occurs in the first year of life. In a survey completed by 88 families of children with hydranencephaly from 2006-2007, 69% of the children who had died, did so after their first birthday. The oldest of the children who had died was in their 20s. 62% of the children represented in the survey were over the age of 1 at the time it was filled out. The first year is the hardest for children with hydranencephaly but survival is possible. The oldest known survivor was 32, and was observed to have non-cortical responses to auditory stimuli. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.